good evening good morning or good afternoon well in this case it's evening it's the late night shift at Auckston Park I've uh, been video editing all night um, just to free me time up for when I get back home so this video is about the uh, practice and uh, the race it's just clips because obviously i've been doing the photography so uh, just a mix of things uh, hope you like it don't forget to do the usual like and subscribe because like i said before in the videos uh, you know i don't get paid for doing these videos i don't get paid much when i'm doing the photography but uh, at least I'll get something with the photos, with a video, it's for your, the riders and the families and people all around the world to watch, especially the famous Auckston Park, because often I talk to people, and in fact I was talking to a friend of mine, and he said uh, he rode here 50 years ago, you know, um, on the track when he was 15, that's Ray. Hi Ray, and I have spoke to people before, even older than years ago, you know, so it's a famous track. So anyways, enough of me going on. Enjoy the uh, video, folks. And I think I've already said, but well, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe on the track or wherever you are. And uh, let's say this is Saturday's action. I'll be doing another video for Sunday, so catch you in a bit folks bye and good evening action time they're all getting ready now uh, the 65 these are the clubmen here getting ready folks Right. Have a good uh, have a good weekend everybody. Don't forget to smile. <laughs> Just doing the two minutes silence this morning. The Queen's uh, husband uh, is his funeral today. Rest in peace to him. Catch in a bit. Yeah, just getting ready now. Ready for the action, folks. The riders, 
Back in 2019, of course, this was a very closely fought class. There was a lot of good racing out there. We look forward to more of the same in 21. Now, of course, uh, with the easing of the lockdown restrictions in the past few weeks, riders have been able to get onto practice tracks and uh, do some local race meetings. So, one would hope that most of the riders out here this weekend will at least have some track time, get themselves warmed up. But where better to start? Talk about being thrown into the deep end, Hawkstone Park, which is arguably one of the toughest motocross circuits in Europe. At the moment, of course, we've just started, so it's very smooth. Not many ruts out there, not many bumps, certainly not that many lines at the moment, but certainly as the day goes on, it will be transformed into a really gnarly, you'd almost say a Belgian-style soundtrack, of course, in the history of Hawkstone Park. Many of the, the greats, of course, Georges Jobet immortalized himself here. There's a picture at race control of him jumping over Andre Malone. The likes of Jackie Martins, Eric Abors, going even further back to uh, the likes of Jeff Smith in the 60s. A whole host of names have competed on this very circuit. Of course, there is a, a new layout this weekend, the, uh, the Walkstone Hill section. Now, that's been... The actual layout we're using this weekend has been rarely used, if ever. It goes about two-thirds of the way up the hill, loops around the trees, and uh, does flow quite nicely. So riders now on the way, we'll leave them a few minutes just to start their opening laps. I would speculate that the lap times really will tumble once the session goes on, because as we said a few moments ago, there aren't that many lines out there at the moment. It's been freshly graded and prepared. So, uh, as we get a few laps turned, we'll get a few berms on the corners, a bit more cornering speed from the riders. And we should get an idea very shortly of how the lap times are progressing.
folks hope you're enjoying the video don't forget to give me the thumbs up and subscribe just waiting for the uh, big wheels practice to start now folks follow me <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
please make sure that you're wearing your face mask at all times when you're about to travel or spectating on the circuit. A reminder, please, that there is to be only one person per rider in the mechanics work zone at all times. And a reminder, please, to all riders that when you're in the waiting zone prior to your session, you must be wearing your helmet. And a reminder, once you've finished your session, can you make sure that you keep your helmet on until you return back to your vehicle? I do again, of course, that this event is being monitored by the police and the local authorities. And they do have the authority to exclude anybody from the meeting who they feel is not complying with the regulations. And worst case scenario, they do have the authority to cancel the meeting entirely. So, very important. And the top four made up by Harry Barker in sixth place, Jamie Angel. Then the three from the right back to Martin Jones have gone through the sixth place. Harry Barker gone to the seventh place, Kip James Angel. Welcome to the eighth district here at York in Manhattan. And so, we're going to be in the top ten. After that, there's a little bit quicker with the ladies in fifth position. Alex Buchanan, the heaven place down front in fourth position.
Folks at the moment, all busy. Uh, 
it's going that way, but the, the battle for second place is still wide open as the rest of the top ten make their way through. Liam Bennett on the number 16. Jamie Watson now moving into tenth position as the rest of the top ten make their way through. There's Keith and Lewis, who we mentioned a few moments ago. Both is now up to third position. Just behind two turns, so a good fight back there for Hope on the number two. One, two, seven, Sam Atkinson. Very easy, he's very good in the midfield there, so we're on the final corner. Second flight now being ready. And down to the final corner it goes number one, two, seven. Sam Atkinson wins the second photo of the day. Really has been a good start to the season for him. But who's it going to be in second? Oh, what a final man. Look at that number 19 great move there from Bailey Johnson. The pressure finally pays off for him. Oh, John Joe, the lad here, just doing a little video clip for the channel. Just do a little uh, pan round here and back. I'll go and get the camera. So, this is the end of the video from Saturday. Um, it's been a nice day, good action. Uh, had one or two people in uh, viewing the photos, uh, sold a few prints. Uh, well, thanks uh, to you folks that bought a print off me. So all the photos will be on photoroy.com. As I'm a one-man band, the website, uh, when you click on, it goes on to Flickr, and what you have to do is all the photos are numbered so you just email me with what you want uh, images for email or prints and i can sort it out for you so don't forget to do the usual uh, like and subscribe give me the thumbs up because uh, i have worked hard today and it, i haven't covered me uh, diesel fuel costs yet to get here you know so uh, it's more because i enjoy it um uh you know than uh for the financial wise you know so uh support the because i'm the official photographer there was a lot of photographers here today but i am the official one um so try and support me because i go to all the meetings and um you know so uh, work hard so appreciate if you want to buy an image or subscribe to the youtube channel so that's all for now folks and uh, be another video on uh, from tomorrow's action hopefully catch you all in the next video folks bye bye for now